<laughs> They're amazing. Carrie, Annie and Tish are competitive cyclists and have been riding together for at least five years. But on February 17th, a ride would turn into a fight for Carrie's life. And the attack just happened so fast. A group of five women started riding from Tish's home in North Bend and made it to Cocoa Creek Trail near Snoqualmie. Then 19 miles into their ride, two cougars ran out from the brush. One kept going into the woods, the other lunged at Carrie. From the time we saw the cougars to the time it took Carrie off her bike was about three seconds. One second, I'll say. So we didn't have a chance to face off with them to scare them away or anything. I just remember getting tackled from this side and then ending up at the other side of the road. I immediately tried to choke the cougar, which was like choking a rock. The women used sticks and a large rock to try to get the cougar off Carrie, but it had her face clenched in its jaw. I knew every second what was going on, and I was doing my own, you know, poking at it and trying to poke his eyeballs out and get up his nose and pry his mouth with my hand. 15 minutes into the battle, a small moment of release, and Carrie was able to get away. The group managed to get a bike on top of the cougar and hold it down until help arrived. You know, Carrie's just laying there by herself, and we just kept saying, are you doing OK? And she would just give us a little bloody thumbs up <laughs> that she was doing OK. A Fish and Wildlife officer got there and shot and killed the young cougar. Carrie suffered severe damage to her face and permanent nerve damage, but says thanks to her friends, she made it out alive. I, I think it's the epitome of true friendship and love mm -hmm. is action. I know for a fact I would be dead if they didn't come back in. I, I would just be gone. We just did what we had it to do, and part of it was just primal instinct. Just get in there and fight, Mama fight bears. for a life. <laughs> so yeah, the cougar wasn't going to take us cougars down. <laughs> well, the friends are now able to joke about what happened, but Carrie did spend five days at Harborview after the attack. Her doctors are waiting to see how her jaw heals over the next few months, but her road to recovery isn't over. The ladies did say they aren't going to give up cycling and will be better prepared with protection for the next time. Greg, back to you.